0.27 to 0.16. This cat comes in with running eyes, two eyes, right? Mm -hmm. Any running nose? No, I don't see any running nose actually. Mm -hmm. no, but okay. quite dry. Uh. Two running eyes, yeah. uh, no fever. It just happened only yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday evening, I think. Should be afternoon or evening. Mm -hmm. So two eyes? Yeah, both eyes. A lot of discharge. Mm -hmm. Only just happened only right today, anyway. Right? Mm, consider yesterday evening. Uh. Mm. So today, one whole day. Appetite loss? Any loss appetite? No, it's okay. Still Some of it's okay. Still eating well. Okay, good point. How about the other cat? Okay. Is there one cat, right? Or two cats? Two. Three. Has the other two is okay. okay. Has it been playing the other cat? Mm. No, you notice that? No, the, uh, actually. Eyelids are swollen. No, when the. the and it rolls inwards. When. It rolls inwards a lot. It starts tearing, like, they are not playing together. The eyelid is swollen, very much swollen. And not only that, it rolls inwards. How come the eyelids roll inwards? Uh? I don't know. That's why. I don't know whether it's a pink eye or is it or due mm. to flu. Not now sure. we can see that. Uh, Good point, okay? The third eyelid comes across. Uh, the third eyelid also protects the eye. Something spill onto his eyes like uh, washing li liquid. That's why I think maybe it's due Most to the, 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 the shampoo. Uh, shampoo went in and the third eyelid comes across it to protect. So could be due to the shampoo also. Yes. So have you, have you washed his eyes already? Yes. Before? Saline. You? And does it work? Mm, seems a bit better. He can open his eyes just now. Mm. Yesterday is like totally can't open. So the trouble is you can't check the cornea because normally there's a cornea ulcer. But uh, of course the third eyelid covers the cornea there, the third eyelid. So it's practically impossible to That's why I read the internet, is it necessary for some antibiotics? Yeah, it is. It's just that we got to bring down the inflammation. Yeah, yeah. it's worried that he get inflamed. So you see, uh, this is a classical case of chemical uh, okay. chemical irritation of the okay. uh, cornea. So that the eye comes up to protect the eye. That's why you cannot open. Hundred percent, yeah. And then this one rolls in, the low eyelid rolls so in. So is it like um, swollen? So yeah, the eyelids are the conjunct eyeball is swollen there. Yeah. There is all fleshy. But I'm talking about the, the eyeball. Uh, the, the cornea has been covered up. So you can't really see the cornea. Okay. There is inside here. Yeah. So the best is uh, normally I would advise that I give him some gas and then let him sleep relax. Uh, then go and clean up the eye, irrigate the eyes. In case hairs have dropped in. Uh, oh, okay. Hairs or, or dirt has dropped into the below the, the eyelids. Huh? Okay. So clean it up okay. and check for ulcers. But obviously you can't do it like this because it's uh, not possible to so do it. So if he smells the gas, is it um, how long he will sleep? Will he be okay? No? Yeah, yeah. Be, be put in the chamber, you know, not, not, not a mask. Oh. So that you smell from the surrounding. How long you will take? Over 20, 15, 15 minutes of, or less. So it depends on the cat. So if we put so him in a chamber with Must isolate. must put the gas if can don't put cannot yeah, wash. How, 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 I don't how know, that's not asking the possibility. That's what you've been trying to do, uh, you you've been trying to do it doesn't work, right? I mean well, put eye drop though. Yeah. But if there's something stuck inside, there's no point putting eye drop. Oh, okay. It will still be there, is it the hair or huh? Okay, okay. So there's a reason uh. So no 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 uh any danger. Uh. No danger. Is it notice it's got gingivitis or this is normal? This redness. This is a main coon, right? Yeah, main coon. Very interesting. Maybe this is normal. The redness. Huh? Because other cats would be considered gum disease. I think but, it's okay. Right? Uh, this could be his normal color. But normally you shouldn't have these fleshy things there. Eh? There is a bit of fleshy thing coming out from the gums. Do you really check? Okay, so detail? okay, so we will give a guess and then we will we will clean the Eyelid, the eyelid or this one. Okay. So that is the best method. Uh. Okay. Rather than put eye drops in case the hair is trapped so below the, the any eyelid. Medication? This is what we have seen and then we check for ulcers using the fluorescent eye stain. Only other than that you can do. Uh. Other than that you can't really, uh, you're only guessing. Uh. Uh. But most of it is a chemical irritation from the shampoo. It's a very strong shampoo, is it? Not really. Oh, and then the, the eyelid covers the cornea, has a reflex, then the cornea never swells. Then the third eyelid, when, when it comes up to cover the cornea, it might uh, trap in some uh, hairs uh, or dirt. So that's why you see a lot of discharge. Uh, a lot of discharge. 
and then there is no <coughs> no running nose <coughs> so this is not cat flu because the owner is, <coughs> is worried about cat flu <coughs> okay <coughs>